Yeah, but look at this. <laughs> a few days ago, we got this Honda trike running, this 200, and I bet you it still starts like a dream. Sure does. So this other one here is actually a big red. Uh, that one isn't. This one is. This one would have been the nicer machine in its day, but it's um, rather decayed at this point. This one is actually the one with the bad axle. So as far as I can tell, this is a solid axle the whole way through, which means that that thing pretty much has to be busted. But we're not gonna start with that. With all the repairs they do, I wanna hear it run first. This one's gonna be a little more of a chore to get running. The, there's some things that are better. Uh, there's some things that are worse. There's some things that are better. The fuel tank is actually way better shape than this one. It actually seems like it is um, holding fuel and the fuel in there doesn't smell that old. Um, so that should be a lot less work. I'm probably still gonna have to go into the carb. This one, I'm not gonna do another carb video on it. I will service the carb on it. But this one has to be hot wired because the ignition is actually broken. Uh, it is an electric start. It has pull start too, but we gotta start by just hearing it run. And then from there we can order the axle or whatever we think we need for it. I've dug into the wiring on this one a little bit. Uh, quite a bit actually and this one is giving me exactly as many problems as I expected it to give me which is why we did this one second I knew this one behind me over here was in fairly good shape I wasn't sure about the engine but now I am it's got a great engine and it actually I knew this one here was gonna be a troublemaker and it is the ignition so itch was uh, actually busted out of it so I've been into a whole bunch of the cables here uh, just trying to figure out what I need to do to complete the circuit, which I did, and I still had nothing. Okay, uh, went into the starter, uh, the starter uh, relay assembly, got that all working properly, uh, figured out all the wires leading to the starter are working, starter's dead. That's okay, it's got pull start. So that's where I'm at on this thing right now, uh, so it's not running yet. I'm not sure if I'm going to be able to get this running today, but hopefully... I just gotta figure out the right series of wires because it does have a pull start. So I can figure out the right series of wires for that ignition switch bypass. So instead of being uh, a painfully long video of everything I'm checking, I'm just getting right to it and updating you as I go. Let me tell you where we're at on this Honda, this big red, now that I've put a little bit of time into it. So I've certainly spent a little bit of time on this thing trying to get it to run. I am still having a spark issue with it and the ignition switch is broken, but I was able to bypass that um, the kill switch over here that was not working bypass that cleaned a bunch of connections and still having a uh, spark issue with this one so I decided to say okay screw it let's stop right there and let's have a little bit of a look at this unit as a whole and let's figure out exactly what kind of shape it's in and I can show you what uh, what I found with this rear axle here I said that one of the sides of the rear axle was jammed well that's not actually totally true the whole axle is jammed and look, look at this so what happened is the splines actually wore right off the hub and that's what caused this side to be able to roll but this side is all seized up so there's something going on in here or somewhere along the drive shaft um, that's caused that whole thing to seize up I don't see any cracks in the diff housing so I don't think that's the issue but something is definitely going on in here so where exactly do we end up with this one at the end of the day is that for now this is gonna be a parts unit so that's all I'm gonna use it for for now I'm not saying that I'm not willing to put it into work and save it a little later on but for right now I'm happy with this one over here this one seems to be working really well for me, so I'm gonna probably take a few of the good parts that are off uh, off this big red here and stick it on this older 200. Here's all the wiring I've been working on, trying to solve the issue. Still not getting spark. I think there may be a generator problem. Uh, I'm not totally sure on that quite yet though, but I think there's a lot of parts here. There's definitely some good tires, uh, good wheels here that I can use from this thing. Um, but I'm just gonna prop it up in the back. I'm probably gonna take the recoil out because I, I want that recoil if it fits on that other one, which it should. Um, besides the handle, it's actually in good shape. So unfortunately, that's just gonna be a parts unit for now. 
But it's okay, because we still have old faithful here. One of the two runs good, right? All right, guys, that's all I got for today's video. Why not subscribe to the channel? What a perfect time to help push us through the summer. In the next video, I'm going to be taking some of the old parts off this unit and sticking it on uh, my Honda that does work, like the fuel tank and maybe a couple other parts because I know that there are some good parts on this that I'd like to take off and stick on that one because I'm going to make that one my main one for now. This one, I'm, I plan on working it in the future, but not today, maybe not this summer. We'll see. If I can find the parts for like cheap or free would be awesome <laughs> I, w I would totally go do this right now but um later on later on that's a project for later thanks everybody for watching we'll see you in the next one maybe ben will be back he's been working in slave lake